good afternoon to all of you. This is Teacher Aileen from English Dormitory, and I'm going to talk about breaking up. Number one, accept that it's over. Time to get another SIM card and change your cell phone number since you will no longer be texting each other with romantic messages before going to sleep. Avoid places, songs, and activities that tend to remind you of him. If possible, move to distant aunt or relative and stay there for a while. The more you leave him out of your life, the better. Second one, cultivate new friends. Yes, girls, from new friendships, go on a group dating with others. Keep yourself busy. Let go of him and enjoy your life. Over time, you will discover that he did not really mean that much to you. In addition, strive to be happy and find that someone who will cherish, cherish the real you. Nothing is more strategic a blow to your ex-egos than knowing that you are more contented and happy now with your life. When the time comes that you will no longer consider him as your ex, but as your friend, then you'll hit full circle. You've managed to leave the soured relationship behind with flying colors. And yes, you've finally got it made right. Third, be proactive. There will surely be moments when you can't help yourself from thinking about him. If this happens, slap your face. If you can't bear this self-slapping procedure, wear a rubber band on your wrist, snap it each time you think about him, the ouch will help you stay in the right perspective. Fourth, make a list of his irritating qualities. When a guy wearing the same cap or perfume like your ex walks by and tends to remind you of your former boyfriend, quickly whip out the list you made and then you'll be in the right track. Thank you so much and have a good day, everyone. This has been Teacher Aileen from English Dormitory. Thank you.